Earth magic is really the recognition, both in our mind, our hearts, and certainly our bodies, of the magic that's inherent in the Earth. Not only can we witness the natural miracles that are around us, all around us, but we can also collaborate with the spirit in all of these Earth beings and the celestial beings to create miracles. So Earth magic is recognizing not only the magic, but the miraculousness of life itself and being that expression of life itself that you too can collaborate with spirit to create these kind of miracles. We can also work with these spirits as spirit guides. One of my favorite is animal spirit guides. When an animal shows up in an unusual way or repeatedly, whether that animal is the actual physical animal or a symbol of that animal, then what is going on is something quite special. What's happening is that the oversoul you could say, or the collective consciousness of that particular species is sending that animal to you in the physical form or in the symbolic form to deliver a message. Another fascinating piece of earth magic is with plants. The Fintorn community in Scotland, founded in the 60s by Eileen and Peter Caddy and their, their friend Dorothy McLean. Dorothy McLean would go into the garden, she would meditate, and she was given information on what was called the overlighting soul of the plants, that if you can connect with that, that um, basic spirit, not just the spirit of a particular plant, but that particular species, just like in animals, has an oversoul or a collective consciousness. And there are, there are legends about the kind of things that were taking place in Findhorn. They set aside, for instance, a section of the garden, so the story goes, and said, here, insects, this is yours, you can have this, but please leave these alone, and it worked. So it's possible to reconnect with the natural world and with the spirits in the natural world, and again, as I've been saying, to create magic. In my practice, in my private consultations in my workshop, I draw from my uh, many years of experience as a spiritual psychotherapist with psychospiritual modalities, such as hypnosis, breath work, uh, EFT, emotional freedom technique, and uh, e EMDR. So I have that perspective. And then I also have studied shamanism extensively. And shamanism really is, is sort of at the core of what we're calling earth magic. So those are some ideas about earth magic. And I would encourage you, go outside with your breath, your attention, which I trust you will do after hearing all this.